Lehman Brothers collapse was the most traumatic financial event of the 21st century. And once they decided not to bail it out, all hell bro broke loose. This is because Lehman Brothers is such, it was such a big uh, financial uh, institution. It's an investment bank. There are like uh, uh, some, something like between five and ten investment banks in the United States. The collapse of one of them is a systemic event that may bring down the entire financial system. In my paper, I look at explanations for uh, uh, the collapse of credit and of new net uh, bond issues. One of the findings of uh, this uh, analysis uh, is that bailout uncertainty is something that is very disruptive. Basically, are periods in which people uh, in the financial markets are very optimistic about bailouts. This tends to uh, make uh, both the sellers of credits and the buyers of credit very optimistic. Just prior to the four years uh, uh, prior to uh, Lehman, the Lehman event, uh, there was a tremendous expansion of credit, both banking credit in the United States as well as the credit through the bond market, uh, mortgage-backed securities and asset-backed securities and so on. Now, when uh, then later on there is such a, a traumatic event like uh, the decision not to bail out, uh, you know, because of fiscal reasons, because you don't want to put all that on the taxpayers and things like that, then there is a big disappointment. And uh, uh, as a result of that, the number of failures uh, is higher than it would have been if people had known in advance that uh, uh, such a bailout will not occur. In other words, if they had known that in advance, they would not have been as optimistic in taking credit and there would have been uh, less failures after uh, this event. And maybe the entire crisis, there would have been less crisis, but it would have been uh, much smaller. The lesson is that bailout uncertainty, frequent changes in, uh, you know, in the likelihood of bailout is probably a bad policy. Probably. I'm careful here.